Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Analogizer and what is the Analogizer right? The Analogizer is a device for the analog pocket that's been created by Francisco Javier, core developer Francisco Javier who's brought us calls, when well, he's brought calls over to the Mister as well as the analog pocket. Uh, some of the calls being Zane Selena and Alpha Mission. So what they have done is they have made a device that sticks to the analog pocket and it gives you analog video out as well as snack controller support. So for example if you've got a Neo Geo setup and you've got a Neo Geo arcade stick well you can now connect that or you can use it to play your analog pocket you can use it to play the Neo Geo core guys it's a fantastic project um, I'm really excited by this unfortunately I can't test it out personally because I don't really have like analog equipment around the house anymore I don't really have the space for it and I think if I did Bring some out from the shed my wife would absolutely kill me so uh, francisco did offer me a review unit to test out personally for the channel unfortunately i wasn't able to do that so all the footage you're seeing is from francisco's channel and other users i've gathered a bunch from twitter and youtube to kind of have as an overlay for this video but uh this is something that is available uh, it's in quite high demand uh, make sure you check the pinned comments attached to this video if there's any updates or where you can get one uh, i'll make sure i post it there i will go through some notes that i've got there so i may repeat a couple of points that i've gone through kind of in the, in, in the introduction but guys this is an exciting project it's available in a whole bunch of different colors and it just works right and you don't need the dock there's no requirement for a dock so if you're someone that bought the analog pocket and thinks oh you know what i really wish if i bought a dock dock will give you a digital uh, output experience but if you've got old equipment lying about you've got snack adapters you've got stuff that you've bought for your mister well you can kind of utilize that for the analog pocket now the analog pocket isn't quite as versatile as other fpga consoles out there uh, like the mister for example but you know what guys it's getting there slowly i mean from what it was when i first got it to where the analog pocket is now with all its open fpj calls with amazing like arcade calls console calls computer calls i mean we're eating good with the analog pocket and this is just the cherry on top right the icing on top of the cake we call analog pocket so just to go over a few points i've kind of put some bullet points out here and i'm going to try and go through as many of them as possible so the development journey of this so this was uh, initially conceived as an experiment with the analog pockets cartridge port uh, developed as a prototype for a, for for getting uh, video output and native controller input uh, designed and manufactured um, a compact pcb integrating all functionalities and then crafted a shell so what i'm speaking how speaking from francisco javier's kind of point of view here so he crafted a shell uh, using 3d printing technology for both functionality and aesthetics and then interface and development developed an interface in hdl very log language from scratch explored snack controllers and adapters from mr fpga project for compatibility uh, supported interfaces include Neo Geo DB15, NES, SNES and PC Engine controllers and I think most recently as well I saw um, an 8-bit though arcade stick, uh, the RF one, the one that I like using a lot being compatible with this as well. Now remember guys everything I'm saying here isn't going to be final, it's not conclusive. Francisco is always adding stuff to this project, he's always adding value to the project. There's stuff that he's working on, there's some limitations that are presented due uh, to the analog pocket being restricted somewhat and hopefully uh, the, as analog update their firmwares and add more functionality, more functionality will become available with the analogizer. Uh, so the introduction of a switch for snack port pin assignment to offer versatility and core support right cores need to be individually adapted to utilize the analogizer so i can't emphasize this enough guys if this is something you guys are going to purchase it's not a simple solution where you plug it in and every single core works right um, the cores need to be adapted. Now, Francisco Javier is collaborating with uh, Pocket developers to get broader core support. Uh, you know, we're a, we're a pretty tight-knit community, right? Everyone kind of knows everyone, uh, so more core support will follow. But as it stands now, there's two cores that are available to play. Uh, one of them is ASO, so the, the Alpha... Oh, I forget the last part of the name now, uh, but Alpha, Alpha something, sorry. Um, so the ASO 
um, core works with that and that's one of Francisco Javier's own cores and the other core is the Neo Geo core that was ported over by Mazamars and that's a big thing because the Neo Geo has got a whole bunch of games on there and you can play them right now you can output it to your TV and you can use like whatever controller well you want to use with with the with the analog guys all right so good times ahead guys um there's also a uh, um a published very log interface uh, on uh francisco's github repository for you in case you want to check that out uh so video outputs right uh utilized a vga video dac ic for native video output it's capable of generating a vga signal up to 140 megahertz adhering to standard rs 3 343A uh, supports a wide range of devices including TVs, monitors, scalers and arcade monitors uh, and someone actually ran this in an arcade and it looks fantastic guys uh, so future revisions may include support for YPBPR output in regard to distribution and reception, initial distribution to local and international enthusiasts. And that's kind of happened already, right? The first batch has, has gone out, or maybe more than like an initial batch, more batches will be going out. Like I said, demand is quite high for this. So, you know, maybe speak to Francisco Javier, try and get one. Uh, maybe he's gonna implement a list. Like I said earlier, um, check the pinned comment for this video. If there's any useful information uh, regarding uh, this, I will make sure I put it in there and I'll update the comment as much as I can. Um, and it be publicized through social media platforms such as uh, Twitter. So check out Francisco Javier's Twitter, give him a follow over on there. And if you're interested in this, just tag him on there to get the latest updates. Uh, so Francisco is currently working on resolving issues uh, for international sales. Uh, this was initially a hobby project and it's it's turned out to be very very popular so bear with the guy uh, from my dealings with francisco the guy's been absolutely cool like from when i started covering fpj gaming the guy's always been very approachable just very very polite right so politeness doesn't cost anything so um hopefully if you're interested in one you will be able to get one but just know you know due to uh limitations of what you know how many can be produced logistics it might be a little bit of time before you can kind of get one out there so just kind of in conclusion guys the analog guys enhances the analog pocket experience by offering native native video output and expanded controller compatibility exciting future developments are underway with increased core support and potential uh, international availability so guys you know what this is really good i'll leave any links i'll leave a link to francisco's youtube channel his twitter and anything else useful um in the uh, in the description of the video so do check that out but that's really it for this video guys i really, really do hope you enjoyed it give me your thoughts about what you think about the analog eyes and i can't complete this video without saying the analog eyes <laughs> if you grew up like watching 80s cartoons you know when you had a cartoon started in it and you had that theme it just reminds me of that and i just wanted to chuck it in there it's an awesome project check it out and guys if you didn't get the dock and you know, you're like, you don't want to order the dock, pay like a big fee and only get, oh, well, the dock will give you the digital kind of uh, output. This will give you the analog one. So it's great to have the choices. This isn't going to be for everyone. Uh, you know, you will need a little bit of knowledge uh, and a little bit of tinkering to kind of get everything up and running. So if you are that type of person, well, you'll know if this is something that you want. Guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I wish, uh, I wish, I wish Francisco have you the best on this endeavor and, uh, yeah be good be awesome to one another guys this is pixel cherry ninja out